son. You are going to become a Super Saiyan. You have to come at me with everything you've got. Don't you get it? It's the only way. It's all or nothing. Good YouTube. Got another corrupt audio game, so the music might be oddly loud. Here is our first culprit, a demon hunter. Thanks to my handy dandy flash tracking setup I have on my demon hunter. <laughs> we can see that easy. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about that. Welcome to Flasked Heroes, the season finale of season one. I know you guys are done with these 7.2 PvP videos, but this one I thought was pretty damn good. Basically, we run into, I think, three people that are using flasks, and our team beats them without using them. Uh, if you're looking for my opinions on flasks and BGs, I'll link the video below. But anyway, this game is a deep wind dunk, and as you can see, <laughs> it looks like they ended up fixing this BG and putting a timer in by the end of the week And uh, there's no possible way somebody will get a fail 30 minute game like I had before Well, that's good to know that they fixed it by the end of the week. I wonder how many people had that problem Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. This guy almost got away. He's probably so mad with that throw glyph. So I was one second away from turning invis because I have an instant invis because I'm arcane. You had to hit me, bro. You had to hit me. Yeah, bro. I had to hit you. What are you gonna do? I got spectral sight. Come on. Cut me some slack here, you aren't getting anywhere. I'm gonna show you I I just talking shit to myself. Talking I'm pretending I'm the guy and I'm talking shit to myself. Isn't that fucking weird? That's a little bit weird. Goddamn. I don't tussle with a whale. I don't handcuff lightning, throw thunder in jail. I'm gonna show you how great I am. All of you chumps are gonna bow when I whip him. All of you, I know you got him. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Because if you're willing to go through all the battling you gotta go through to get to where you wanna get, who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really wanna do, something you never said, or something, something. And you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut, it ain't nobody's right to say no. After you earn your right to be where you wanna be and do what you wanna do. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hit and not point your finger saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him. Now, no hate on these people, because they could very well be undergeared, right? They did end up losing this BG, so, you know, as much as the flask did help. Here we go, we got a healer. Cloudbreaker. As much as the flask did help, 
like they needed it because they still lost right if they didn't have those bonus stats they really would have lost but i don't know I can't say it was all me because I tried so hard because I was like, fuck these flask users. And I got so amped up and then we crushed them. And then I used a flask on my mage game after where, who was super undergeared and I was like, yeah, I'm going to crush some people. And then I actually did less damage than people on my team who weren't using flasks. And I was like, what the fuck? These things don't actually put in that much work. Are you serious? They can't just turn me from an, like an undergeared scrub into a, a hero that crushes people? Fuck. But they do give you a mild edge. The edge they give you is becoming smaller and smaller as our item level increases and our base stats go higher and higher. I'll say that. So like a flask now, and this is why I'm more open to sharing this information now. Before I was kind of really concerned that like sharing this to the wrong people would give like a bunch of 10 year olds the knowledge that you can just buy a flask from the fucking auction house and just dummy people on your warrior and look like a huge guy popping all your cooldowns and people will like your video because you'll put like 22 and oh yeah warrior two shots but really you'll kill people in three shots you know <laughs> no, no hate no hate but uh I don't know. I don't find those videos very classy, if you will. Maybe that's just me, because I'm an old bastard. So the culprit, Demon Hunter, that was using a flask, ended up being a vengeance. Even better. <laughs> God damn. That's a good name. You, sir, get a shout out for that one. Shift Elegy. Well done, sir. Now, for the most part, it seems like most people don't know anything about Flask, so you don't see them very often. Either people just don't have any idea, or people just don't care. Which I assume is a little bit of both, but probably more so people don't know. Because so I think a lot of people might use these if they did know. Especially if they see their opponent using them, especially if they got killed by a guy using one They would probably use one or quit the BG and be like fuck this flash shit Or be like fuck you. I got a flash too You know you got one or two ways you fight or flay, right? The way I see this all going I'm gonna like my initial like Concern was a lot of the wrong people will get the information, right? That's not what we want, but I'm gonna try to just blanket cover everything with enough videos, you know? We'll put out some stuff, we'll link it all together, and hopefully I explain it well enough that people kind of get some idea behind it and they'll just have a fucking flask party on Friday nights with their two mistweavers and their, I don't know, mage, demon hunter. Is that me? It's pretty much what I did in my game. <laughs> That's funny. But in defense, Friday and Saturday nights are usually filled with a bunch of pre-mates using flasks just wrecking uh, the horde because horde seems to be, <laughs> you know, this is probably a very uneducated opinion, but I would wager there's a lot more younger players on horde at the moment. Like there's a lot of older players, but before the movie, the cool thing, you know, quotes, cool thing, to be when you're a younger person was alliance, you know? Now, the cool thing to be is important. So, like a lot of people that are coming do well, a lot of people that are rolling, a lot of younger kids want to be fucking orc, man. They want to be thrall. They want to be that hero fighting for Jirachar. What the hell's wrong with you kids these days? Nobody ever watch He Man? Like, fuck, man. That's who my hero was back in my day. That's how old I am. You figure that shit out. Fuck, man.
I'm just amped up in these. Um, doesn't even matter. I get one guy to the next, to the next. Just um, beast mode right now, man. No mercy. You're gonna use flasks? I'm just gonna unleash on your team. <laughs> I think I just fucking got out my iPod and I was like, fuck it, man. I'm going hard. You guys want a flask on me? We're doing this. <laughs> Before this, I'd always like use a flask. This was after I tried on my mage, and I realized that some people that use flasks. Don't make less mistakes. I guess. Don't give them any leeway. Make less mistakes. Whatever you want to call it. You know, be on the ball. They're trying to win, and they're trying hard. And if you don't try, and if you don't try hard, you're not gonna get it. That's all I'm gonna say, right? You got some people here that are looking for the win. Do you need to be paying attention to that? And just pushing. Especially if you don't want to push that arm, right? Like, I use a gunpowder charger, too. Those are like 10G, you know? Flask is like 350 on my server, so... It's all what you want to commit to the game, you know? Some people don't want to commit anything. Some people are willing to commit a little bit. Some people buy BG potions, you know? The salt water potion that gives you damage buff. These are all BG only potions too, right? It's not like they're meant somewhere else and somebody's blue. This is made for this. I don't know. It's all like what you want to buy. That's what we're going to be just about. You know? Do you want to level the profession that has the perk for BGs? Do you want to get the artifact fishing pool? Do you want to buy the item to bring in? Do you want to go get your Horde battle standard so you get a 10% buff that's one shotable sometimes if anybody's a ball. <laughs> it's all what you want to bring in. My wife stops and she looks at me. I don't have, I didn't have, doctor didn't tell me I had four legions on my brain. She's talking to you. Why would you look at me? Because my wife is saying if anybody knows how to get back up when they get knocked down, it's you. This so was it for season one. one. I hope do. you had some fun with season okay, one. I hope I can I keep up the we'll fun of season like two. I hope so. you got some level of information we'll out of these games, games that made you I better than BGs. Exactly Maybe, it Maybe it was just my fails. Maybe it was my ramblings. Maybe yeah, I'm just a dreamer. But anyway, guys, have a good one. And as always, good luck in the BGs. Be brave enough to write every one of your goals down. But I'm going to tell you something. Life's going to hit you in your mouth, and you got to do me a huge favor. Your why has to be greater than that knocked out. And I love it. Buster Douglas got knocked out. Nobody ever got knocked out by Mike Tyson and ever got back up. It was almost a 10 count. I, he was stumbling. They were four, three, two, one. Ding, ding, ding. Saved by the bell. He goes to his corner. The whole world is like, oh, that's it. Once he comes back out, that's it. Mike's gonna just hammer him. And exactly that, Mike Tyson came out like, I got him. I got this kid up against the rope. Listen to me, many of you right now, life's got you up against the rope. And you gotta do me a favor, like, you can't give up. You can't give in. Life, listen to me, if it was easy, everybody would do it. And if life's got you backed up, I need you to do what Buster Douglas did. Buster Douglas start fighting back. He said, I know you knocked out 30 other people before me, but I won't be the 31st. You got to tell life, I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you ain't dealt with me. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more wacky content, and drop a like if I'm on the right track and you're having a good time. Anyways, have a good one, guys, and Godspeed.